Well, I haven't done a video on YouTube for a while, so I'm going to give this quick review starting from June 2013. So, Mark, my husband, died, um, and, you know, there was things to do right away and everything, and then, and then from there I, I did a lot of traveling. I had given away my cats, and, um, yeah, I, I just did a lot of traveling. I was, um, yeah, so then, um, oh, I don't know, what was the next phase? Um, then grief really kicked in after that, and, um, oh, some depression, some anxiety, and, and, so then, I don't know, I had a phase of thinking that I needed to form a business of some sort, and I started taking Reiki-type classes and kind of anything that would give me some kind of skill to do something on my own. And um, so that, that, those are my two support groups, my Reiki friends and my political friends that I was, I was still seeing and still doing things with, but my political interests have kind of dropped off. Um, they were never connected to Mark like a lot of people thought. Like a lot of people thought I was a Republican because of Mark. Um, Mark was never interested in active politics. He just was interested in watching it on Fox News. I was a lot less interested in, in Fox News but a lot more interested in showing up at all the events. Um, and when Mark would come home from work and turn on Fox News, the tension in the room would just go up between, between what was on the TV and him yelling at the TV. So I haven't watched the news in a long, long time, and it's, and it's gotten to where... I don't really do all that well when I go to a Republican, a women's Republican group because they're all, you know, excited about something or pissed off about something, and I just, I don't know. So, um, but anyway, I've, I have found, you know, things to do and things to focus on. Now, last year I thought about moving, and I, I took a test trip to Phoenix, and um, drove all around, and I've, I've just bounced the idea of moving just all over the place. And a year ago, I just then said, forget it. I'm just going to get used to my area. So I started doing that for a while. I said, no, wait a minute. There's, there's things around here. And um, I went to some meetup.com groups, uh, Reiki-type spiritual groups. I signed up as an election official for my new county. Um, you know, I, I found some other stores that, you know, are near me. I switch, well then ultimately, at some point I got my cats back um, and I actually switched vets to the local one here, which I, I hadn't switched doctors and I hadn't switched dentists. Um, so I was telling myself, it's about time to do that. It's about time to start going to the clubhouse and meeting people. And in the meantime, I, I went on a few events to, with singles groups. Um, but I was having some anxiety issues for a long time. And that was making it hard for me to drive, which kind of was one of the things that pushed me to get a different car. Um, which was a big deal of getting a car all by myself. Um, and that kicked, that kicked off a wave of me spending money, which, you know, I, I, did, I did spend a lot. I you know, bought a KitchenAid mixer. I, I bought a, in fact, I bought a GoPro camera, and I keep on forgetting to get a battery for it. I ordered one online and it was, after all the research that I did, it was the larger mini, not the mini mini. 
Um, anyway, and then over the winter I was cooking with food service deliveries, HelloFresh and Blue Apron. Then I stopped those so that I could get into baking and I did some of that with my new KitchenAid mixer and then I bought a fryer and I did some of that. Uh, <clears throat> but it's very time consuming and it makes the kitchen constantly messy. But it really was good food because like even right now I'm, I'm thinking I'm hungry but where do I go to buy something decent? And it always comes back to the place that I'm living in is pretty, it's not super, super inconvenient, but it's just inconvenient enough. Um, you know, it's eight and a half miles for me to get to Wegmans, which is the closest type of Whole Food type store. If I had one of those right around the corner and I could just go through the hot and cold food bar, I could probably eat, eat there every single day. Um, I mean, I've made some workarounds. Like now when I visit one of my friends that used to be local, um, I sleep over her house. You know, it's just not a huge drive in the first place, but we like to, um, we're sort of night owls, and so that works out good. Um... But anyway, I don't, I, don't, I don't exactly know how the moment hit this time where I said, you know, it's about time for me to move. I mean, I'm actually trying to think of what, yeah, what exactly was the thing that's, oh, I think, well, it was kind of on my mind anyway, but um, I had made a trip to Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina, which I didn't realize was so far away. Um, but I went there for a weekend psychic convention. And um, first of all, I had a long time to think about things in the car. And like it was so full of traffic all the way to Richmond. And then from there south and west, it was just so much easier. Um, the only, only two things that I would have to remember is to get on the on-ramps really quickly because the speeds are like 70, um, and, uh, and to be brave enough to pass trucks that are going slow. But, um, so I went to Asheville and... I had been drawn to places that had a town. Um, I had been drawn to York, Pennsylvania. But the idea of moving north and to a seemingly random place, um, didn't seem to be all that fitting. And um, well, yeah, why is it any more fitting for Asheville? I guess, um, Okay, I don't really know the answer, but um, I, I basically said, yeah, I, I'm going to move to Asheville, North Carolina. I wish I understood my head is the thing, because it's not that this is super illogical. It's just that I don't quite know how I got there. Um... And I'm confusing people as well. Um, and what I have recently thought about is why not actually move to a lakefront property? I hadn't really thought about that because Virginia doesn't hardly have any lakes. So um, I also just recently, just last week, took a really, really fast trip to Denver. Um, Denver was on my mind either to check it out as a place to live and I was also really interested in going into one of those little shops that they have. Um, but I was only there for like, um, it was only one night actually. Kind of messed that up, but I ended up on a red eye like the next night. Um, 
But it was enough for me to know that I didn't want to move to Denver. And it was even enough for me to realize that I don't really have a draw for what they have to offer with their laws. Um, should have tried gummy bears or something, you know, maybe that would have been better. But, um, yeah, I, I did, I, well, never mind. But it's like, that was just, it's kind of disgusting, the methodology in which I, they ought to make it into pill form. And then maybe it might be okay. Um, anyway, um, so I made my connecting flight in Charlotte, North Carolina. And, you know, so it made me realize that that was an enormously gigantic airport. Might even say not all that well designed because of the way you have to walk so far. But, um, okay, my neighbor is out in his yard, so I'm just going to move my camera here. Um, so, um, so I guess having experienced the Charlotte airport, I was thinking that, you know, that was going to be expensive and a pain in the neck every time I wanted to fly any place from Asheville because it would be more expensive and there'd be a connection in Charlotte with a layover and that would be the case for anybody that wanted to visit me. So um, I saw that there was a big lake fairly close to Charlotte, fairly close to the Charlotte airport, 30 to 40 miles. And, you know, I could live on a lake in a house, a trailer, or a condo. Um, I was thinking a house, but, you know, so, yeah, all the things, I mean, it's, it can be tough enough and irritating enough to maintain a house, but then on a lake property, you got a dock, um, the storms, and, um, well, I don't know anything about that. So, um, and plus, there's no middle to the lake. I mean, like, as far as your neighbors are just going to be stretched out on the sides. So, I'm thinking maybe I would be better off in a condo where the whole complex, you know, at most, most people have a, a view of the lake, but then it's a community dock, and you would just lease a space for your boat. And um, then I would have a bunch of people right there living near me that our boats are all piled together. Um, I would have more of a tendency to meet people, meet other boaters. Because um, that's what one of my friends here was saying. She says, why would you want to leave you know, your support system here and just go to a place that you know absolutely no one? Um, well, there's nothing, I mean, my support system here is, is good. And it's, I mean, it's, fine. It's just that most of them are married. So for the most part, uh, you know, I mean, they're not available to like go to dinner generally. Um, I could, I could go to lunch with them. Um, but I, I mean, I just kind of feel like it's time for me to live, um, in a place that is a different lifestyle, you know, I mean, yeah, I could just carry on with this lifestyle and, I, well, I don't know. Um, but there is sort of a sadness 
a little bit, and I, it's not really, yeah, because I, I went through the effort to get the house all cleaned up, and it was just about ready to, to call, I was just about ready to call the realtor and have him put it on the market, and it would probably take months for it to sell. And then I had to steam clean a piece of the rug because my cat went on it downstairs. Then I noticed blood. So um, he was to the vet yesterday, and he has a urinary tract infection. So I'm just not going to do anything with the house this week. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just it's just... It's kind of confusing to move that far, and I have cats, and in one way I'd want to sell my house first, but if I did that, then I'd need to put my stuff in storage and just sort of be homeless, and then I could drive to North Carolina, and I could keep the cats with me in a motel room or something, but there'll probably be scream bloody murder in the hotel room when I'm trying to be out looking for houses. So um, it would be better in some ways, it's more risky, but in some ways it would be better if I could buy a place first. And if it's a condo, um, I could do that. Um, whether, you know, yeah, I could do that. Um, and, um, and for that matter, it might it would get it would be even cheaper if I bought a condo off the lake um, and then just drove to a marina every time that I wanted to do boating. But I don't think that it's that significant of a price difference. Um, Anyway, so I guess I'm trying to figure out how this works. And then I, last night I thought that I had a plan. Uh, somebody was advertising their house on the lake, and it was for rent. You could rent it by the day, the week, or the month. So I thought, well, I'm going to rent it now. It, for some reason, you could do all those options, but yet it said that if you were going to rent it by the month, you had to do a minimum of two months, which didn't make any sense. Like, I could rent it for two weeks, but I, but if I'm going to go to four weeks, then I have to jump to eight weeks? I don't know. But last night I thought, that will be the perfect thing. It's fully furnished, linens, um, it's cat-friendly, and... Um, I'd be able to have use of their fishing boat. I thought, how perfect would that be to test it out? And I wouldn't have to do anything. Well, I could, I could put this house on the market. Um, then I wouldn't have to clean it every day because me and the cats would have moved ourselves to this lake rental um, without having to move furniture yet or anything. And then every day, you know, they're just content in their new environment. Um, they're not... The walls of other motel rooms aren't next to them, you know, meowing. And, um, and I could spend, you know, day after day trying out boating on the lake to see if I even like that, which I know I do, but um, of course I know I do because I do, I've done it so rarely in my life. You know, if I was more exposed to lakes, you know, how often would I want to? So anyway, that would have been a good test for the area, who I met. Um, you know, it would have given me a lot of time to house hunt. And then it would have given time for this house to sell. Of course, I would be paying like, you know, like double. But if I compared the price of taking test trips out to Charlotte, if I drove, then that would take extra time, and I probably would need to have the cats watched, and there's hotel rooms and everything. If I flew, then that takes less time away from the cats and all that, um, but it's a rental car, 
So, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that this plan for that rental would necessarily be more expensive. But then I guess I started to think, well, the summer in Virginia is kind of nice. It's, it's, it's like, I think that I should move, and I think that I'm kind of serious this time. I think that I'm ready. I'm certainly ready to no longer see Mark's name on the utility bills. That was actually one of my problems a year ago, is that, you know, the minute I leave this house, then there's really nothing else of significance that will come in in his name. Um, you know, he just sort of gets wiped from the face of the earth, and I just didn't want to do that last year. And then, um, you know, depending on the size of the place that I bought, uh, I mean, one of the first things to go if I needed to scale down would be Mark's big, oversized, lazy boy uh, recliner, and I wasn't ready to do that last year. But um, I am perfectly fine with doing some of that now. I mean, I'll just... Uh, that's, that's why it would be nice to have a place first, to see what I can or should or would want to take and what I would want to you know, replace, um, you know, my furniture was bought for a bigger house, and so if I only have, like, a little small dining room area, I may not want to take, you know, so I'm going to have a, might have a big Craigslist sale, but anyway, um, Yeah, when I went on my spending spree, um, it was pretty much me thinking that I was going to be here permanently, although most of what I spent I can, you know, take with me, my, my KitchenAid. I didn't have any remodeling done. I just had a, I had a toilet replaced and a garbage disposal replaced. Was, those had to be done. Um, but... Um, so, yeah, I guess this would be normal. I mean, I've lived in Northern Virginia since 1987. I, I've lived, um, moved initially to a rental in Reston, Virginia, and then from there moved to Centerville into this one particular neighborhood, and that one that's when I was married for the first time, and then when I got divorced, I moved to a townhouse, but it was in that same exact neighborhood. Then when I remarried Mark, we moved into a house in that same exact neighborhood. Um, so I was going to the same community pools for, you know, a couple of decades. Then I made the big move here um, two years ago. It was the end of May that I closed. Mark was still living, but he was not in any shape to leave the hospital. So... Um, So, actually, even living here for a couple of years was sort of a baby step in, I think it's, you know, old age. I mean, I adapted to change much, much easier when I was younger, but I, I kind of think that I'm serious this time, and You know, at some point in time, if I'm going to do this, because, you know, a couple of my friends are saying, well, yeah, where you are right now is a little bit remote, but why don't you just move back to the area that you were in initially? Well, um, 
I, I checked out something out of curiosity. Um, my old house is not for sale, but the exact model house just, a, just down the street in that same neighborhood is currently for sale. And um, it's being sold for like $120,000 more than this current house of mine would sell for. This current house of mine has not gone up in value one single bit in the last two years. So, and, and I wouldn't have to move into a um, house like that, but I'm not crazy about the idea of townhouses, and I'm not crazy about the idea of a condo in Northern Virginia either. Um, it's just different because everybody would be going to work pretty much. Um, it's just different. So, um, so anyway, I would be going through the problem of moving so that I could be somewhat closer in, but I can imagine the minute I would move back there, then it would feel like all of the activities are happening, you know, um, So when I visited Asheville, it was this big, 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 large downtown. And then even just around the town, you know, there was Home Depot, Michaels. It just seemed like, you know, pretty much everything that you would want. And it had a little airport. Everything that you would want would be right there and not require a huge amount of driving. So, um, so yeah, I would increase my cost of living to move back to the other area, and that's a little bit arbitrary also as to would it really help matters all that much. It's still, there's still a lot of traffic in Northern Virginia. Um, and, um, yeah. So anyway, I, I think that I am going to move. Um, I was thinking that I probably ought to seize the moment of the season to get the house on the market like, like now. Um, but for some reason I'm thinking, well, maybe I should put it on towards the end of the summer, which I don't know why I'm thinking that. I think I'm just dragging my feet. Um, one thing I could do that would really help my mindset is that if I was able to buy a condo or a small house or something, if I was able to buy it while I still owned this house, um, which, you know, would be taking the risk that I wouldn't have really fully checked out the area. But anyway, you can do a lot of research online, though. So, um, anyway, if I were to buy a house first, then a condo, let's say, I might even be able to... Now, why would I want to do this? I don't know, but... I mean, I could think of it like a second home for six months to a year. Now, I, I still don't know exactly what the purpose of that would be, but I think it just has to do with me hesitating. So if I had kept this house, there's some, there's some security thing, I guess. So maybe what it is is like, so let's say I, I bought a condo and I set myself up there with some furniture from here or new furniture or something, but basically didn't really do much different with this house. Um, and presumably I would then sometimes come back here um, 
I don't know. And, and then, um, and then I guess if I, if I said, I just don't want to move to that lake community condo whatsoever, well, I could keep it as a rental. In fact, one, um, or I could keep it as a rental slash summer place. Because I can't imagine not wanting to go there every now and then. Um, but yeah, there's one particular condo complex. I have a realtor that I contacted last night. And um, there's one condo complex that is approved for uh, vacationers. And they even have a management company right there. So um, that has an appeal. Because even if it was my only permanent residence, um, well, and for a minute, let's just remove the cats from the picture. Let's just suppose that I had a friend who was able to take the cats in their house or something or whatever. But um, if I felt like going someplace else, going to Hawaii for um, a month, <laughs> um, I could even just, you know, for just that one month, I could have the condo complex rented out for me. Um, maybe it's more complicated than that. Um, but, uh, and people do, it's word of mouth sometimes, and so maybe it's just not really going to happen like that. But anyway, it's probably also why I haven't really done a video because my thoughts are not completely sorted out yet. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye.